he expects a level of professionalism <laughs> out of somebody that is this high? <laughs> Welcome to This Week has 69 seconds where the news gives us higher blood pressure than a father who just recently found out his son's gay. It is essential. OJ said, oh, right in the Refugees were forced to sleep in the streets of Toronto upon arrival, showing that even the government can't afford housing in Canada right now. A BC man is fired for rescuing a moose calf in a work truck. Boy, the heifers I've had in my rig back in the day really blew out the suspension too. A theme park apologized for a drag performer using an angle grinder in a sexual manner in front of kids, writing an apology saying, sorry, this isn't how bottom surgery is performed. We apologize for confusing people. A gondola has crashed in Quebec, killing one person, making gondolas the safest form of transportation in Canada. Reports of cocaine found inside the White House. It appeared to be Hunter Biden's, seeing as a line was found chalked up on a Dominican prostitute's ass. In fashion news, Pierre Polyev drops his glasses as his vision for the Canadian future went from good to terrible. He went from looking like a nerd to looking like someone he gropes every beer girl hoping they're a boy. CMT pulls the music video, try that in a small town over accusations. The lyrics encourage vigilantism and racial violence. What's next, BT gonna drop music videos with lyrics that allegedly encourage fathers to stick around? That one might get me in trouble. <laughs> 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 Thank you for watching another episode of This Week Has 69 Seconds. Everything I said today, I believe.